Hello guys, the Nameless Isle, third map in Divinity Original Sin 2. The smallest map, definitely, but with a lot of content. Do not get fooled by the size of this map. We have a lot of things to do here, so let's begin. Number one, open the temple. This is your main quest. And you need to access the temple here on the map. There is another entry and it's all the way down here. It's a second entry for the main quest. It's your pick what you want to do. Number two. Get those altars. To get to the temple, you'll need to find all seven altars. Seven divine altars for each god, for each divine. Now let's show the locations of those. The first one is here. Orc altar. Or better to say, Rogir's altar. You can access it by killing this portal guy here. Then the water will be removed and you can access the temple. The next one is here. Xanteza altar, Imprelm. You'll get a rabbi, and once you use it, you'll access the Imprelm, and you'll get a second altar. The third one is, I think this is Relic. The fourth is Zorlstissa's altar. Fifth is Amadia. Sixth would be Tirsendilius altar here. And the last one. Let's see where it is, goddammit. <laughs> it's not a blood altar. Just <laughs> I'm gonna explain that one later. It's Duna's altar. And you'll get a quest here for Duna. And you're going to access this Dwarven Temple and find the altar here. When you got all the seven altars, you can solve the riddle here. If you don't know how to do it, you can also check my Lunar Temple Entrance Guide, how to access this. Uh, the other way around to access Lunar Temple is by either by killing the Sallow Man here, where the Blood Altar is. You also have a guide how to access his cave, or by bringing... Alexander's head, Bishop Alexander's head, to Salomon here, and access the temple. There are like three, four different ways to access the main temple of the game, temple of the gods, temple of divines, whatever you like to call that. Now, number three, there are a lot of origin character quests here, uh, including... Ifan, Sibyl, and Las, because I'm playing with them. Don't know about the Fane or Beast. I'm gonna find that out on my second playthrough. But for this four, there is Ifan's quest here, with Bishop Alexander. There is Red Prince's quest and Sibyl's quest here, where the Shadow Prince is. And I guess that's it on the Nameless Isle for Origin characters. Now, some very hard fights. What I mean by it? I mean this. Here, you got a very hard fight uh, with a guy with Deflection Aura. So be careful about that fight. You have these four high grounds here. I highly suggest that you use those high grounds for this fight if you want to gain more damage. Uh, the next hard fight is if you want to decide to go against Shadow Prince. There are a lot of hidden enemies here, so be careful. Again, try to use high ground for this fight. I think that's all hard fight. There is one hard fight when you enter here in the arena of Lunar Temple. And that's about it. The rest of it is quite easy. 
and you won't have any problems. There are not that many fights here, to be honest. It's more with exploring and adventure on the nameless isle than the actual fights. But be careful about those three fights. Number five, explore in full, then fight if you want to. Why? It's very simple. When you reach new areas, when you explore the full map, when you see everything that this map has to offer, you will receive a lot of XP. And then when you talk with everyone here, then you'll know who you want to get killed, and who should be killed, and if you should help someone on the map. It's your choice, and choices here are vast. You can do 100 different things, to be honest. But first, explore the map. Get that, at, that easy XP out of the map. Check the traders here also. Just be patient before you fight. At least that's my advice for it. Number six. Keep spamming that spirit visions. I told the same for Reaper's Coast, and I'll say it again. Keep spamming spirit vision. Because there are a lot of ghosts, a lot of hidden stuff, so make sure that you keep spamming the spell. Next. Use the high ground damage boost. It's very important enemies on the Nameless Isle have a lot of magic armor, a lot of physical armor, a lot of HP, and three difficult fights as I already said. Use the high ground advantage. It doesn't count only for Huntsman. It counts for all classes. Huntsman has the most damage only. Like 75-80% more damage from high ground. But the rest of your characters also have high ground damage boost. So be smart when you play and use high ground advantage. Number 8. Once you reach Lunar Gate, go to the arena first. As I said about Lunar Gate, it's right here, go for the Arena, then go for the Divine Ascension and the main quest entry. It's very important to get everything out of that Arena, plus it gives a lot of XP and a lot of good stuff, a lot of good items, so make sure you do that before you trigger Divine Ascension. Number 9. Buy the bloody game. I always say this for my every guide and I really, I really advise you to buy the game. Because it's a game of the year. I wanna see if I missed something, but I doubt. You have some traders here that you can check. You have traders over here. At tier Sindilius, you get Mother Tree here, which is combined with Seville's quest. You can also meet Sahilia here. You have one cave here, you have one hidden cave over here, and you got second entry here, as I told. That's about it. All of this area here that you see is full with ghosts, but Nothing that important. One major fight close to Temple of Relic, and that's about it. It's a small map. I don't want to spoil anything for you. This is just a guide for what you should do first. And number 10, subscribe and find me on Twitch if you like the video. And thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one for the Map of Arcs.